Hey, hey, it's Jerry with Warren. Hey, Jerry, how's it going? Good. good. Excellent stuff, Jerry Dixon. Warren, still keeping uh, up to date, you know, and doing all the good stuff. It's good to see you again with a new album. Yeah, man, we're just keeping the dream alive, man. You know, louder, harder, faster. Where where would a title of that like that come from? You know, to to find it. That uh, actually, Robert came up with that title, and he wrote the title song. And uh, I don't know, he just blurted it out one night. It's like louder, harder, faster. And we were like, yeah, that's cool, man. <laughs> Write a song, <laughs> and uh, we just uh, it just stuck, you know. Because it's it's so something great, that you you would great rock album title. Absolutely, and it's not something you hear too much today, you know, louder, harder, faster, you know, all rhyming together. It's good. Yeah, man, thank you. And, you know, the next question, you know, for artwork, it's uh, quite interesting and uh, unique, in a sense, your artwork for this new album. Yeah, we did. We wanted to get, you know, something a little that was, you know, real current and kind of pop art looking, and uh, we got together with... uh, guy named Stefan Jensen who does all the Warren Star clothing artwork and he's a graphic designer and uh, came up with uh, yeah he came up with some really cool you know cool colors and cool designs and uh, yeah man so we I think we put together a pretty pretty good solid package and you think today people still you know go hard on covers and say like well I'm gonna buy this because it it looks cool you know what it's you, pretty much nowadays, man, to be honest, it's just we do records just because that's what we do and we like to do them. And, uh, you know, everybody's got their thing, you know. So some people still, you know, I still enjoy a, a CD, a hard copy. I think they sound better, you know, than a compressed, you know, MP3 from iTunes. Yeah. Um, so, you know, it's just uh, to each their own, you know. That's why we put all the different versions out and, uh, let let people you know, let people have at them whichever way they want to get them. And Jerry, recording this album, you know, from the recording to writing aspects, did much change, you know, from uh, the last album you guys did for the approach on it. Um, no, we we kind of uh, we did, you know, Robert and I and Eric pretty much just you know we co-wrote everything this time. Where I think on Rockaholic. Robert, you know, wrote two or three songs by himself, and I wrote a couple by myself, and then we co-wrote. But this time was, you know, uh, you know, from writing with each other so much, we I kind of knew that Robert would fill in the blanks. You know, I didn't really worry about lyrics as much, and and melodies. I worried more about the music, and then you know would lay out a song, and I knew I'm like, okay, Robert will nail this. You know, he'll get the idea, and, and so I kind of let him do his thing you know, on the vocals this time, mm-hmm. which, uh, you know, which is cool. And what I find interesting today is the social media aspect of Warrant is uh, very strong. And, you know, you guys put a lot of uh, time into, um, let's say, Facebook, Twitter, and all that stuff. Yeah, we try. You know, we, uh, you know, we grew up and we learned early on in our careers that, you know, you had to, you had to be a little bit of a business person, you know, like all the music was great, but if nobody's at your show, you're not going to go very far. So, uh, you know, that stems from us from back in the days, making all the flyers and hanging out in Hollywood, you know, promoting and, and, you know, putting asses in the seats, you know, from we were like 16 years old. So, you know, now the, the new way to do that is Facebook. So it's, it's important, you know, it's, it's important to stay relevant and, and you know, let people always want to know what you're doing. And so we, yeah, we definitely, uh, you know, spend a lot of time trying to keep up to date on all that stuff and keeping our fans in the loop, you know. And with that, you know, you're not playing your instrument as much because you're, uh, you know, concentrating on typing stuff and you know, taking pictures also. Yeah, it's uh, we do it a bunch of different ways. We have we have people that help us do all that, because um, a lot of times, yeah, we we learned if you're if you're the one always taking a picture, you're not in the picture. So it's like, so we have people that 
come to our shows and 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 help us with that you know so they take a picture as an outsider of the band and then you know we'll work on what to say with it and then they'll post it for us so you know and then there's times where we do it a lot of it ourselves too you know but when it does get super hectic or you know if it's a big thing that's like on TV, like we were just on CBS last weekend with the pull, with the uh, bull riding event. You know, we have people film that and do that for us. So a little bit of everybody. Good. And also, you know, with with Facebook, you guys must have new fans, you know, that are just discovering the band. Yeah, we have all kinds, man. We have the, we have the diehards and we have the kids, you know. It's, it's amazing how many of the younger... Uh, Younger kids, you know, their parents or whoever will turn them on to, to 80s rock and they just freak out. They love it. So we have a very diverse uh, age group. Which is good to have in 2017, I would say. Yeah. Oh, hell yeah. It's awesome. Now, will we be seeing a, you know, a new promo video soon for this release, Louder, Harder, yeah. Faster? Yeah, the video, actually the video comes out on Friday. Okay. Uh, May 5th, the video comes out, and then the record comes out May 12th. <clears throat> so we're, uh, yeah, we're excited to, to get the video out. It came out pretty cool. It's a pretty lighthearted, funny video. And videos seem to be so important nowadays, you know, um, with it's being YouTube streamed, etc. you know, just to have the shares and, you know, exactly. the people interested exactly. in it. Yeah, man. Now, how how many gigs you play in a year now? Is uh, are you guys starting to get booked now for summer and all that stuff? Oh yeah, we're booked all the way to the end of the year. We we average about probably seventy to maybe ninety, a hundred shows a year. That's quite good. Yeah, yeah, we're always uh, we're always flying, man. Always flying. We usually leave. We usually leave the house like Wednesdays and Thursdays and then come home Sundays, recoup, and then go back out again the next week. So it's never changed the scene we you know with airports and stuff like that. How do you take your time into the, those situations, you know, because I'm, sh I'm sure it takes time, you know, to customs and all that stuff. Yeah, yeah, it's a beating flying now, that's for sure. Not like the old days where you could have your own row and go to bed, smoke a cigarette, <laughs> you know. Uh, nowadays, yeah, it just, uh, yeah, we, we leave the day before shows, you know, you have to leave the day before just in case something, something happens, you know, lights get screwed up and all that shit all the time. So, uh, yeah, it just it adds a, you know, adds a whole nother travel day to the dynamics. There must be no many parts of the world you've, uh, didn't go visit now. Yeah, we've been to, a, we, we've definitely globetrotted for sure. Well, that's good stuff. And I mean, this album sounds good, fresh, which is important today. And uh, just keep up the great work, Jerry. All right, man. Well, I appreciate it, dude. Yeah, we're, uh, we're pretty excited about it. And uh, yeah, we can't wait to get the video out and get this thing finally out um, on May 12th. Excellent stuff. Well, Jerry Dixon, man, pleasure talking to you. Okay, thank you for your time, bud. You're welcome. Have a good one. Okay, you too. Bye. Bye-bye.